Hello and welcome to my channel You Are The One where we talk all things law of assumption and today we are talking about euphemations and if you're not sure what they are or if you've never heard of it before completely understandable because I made it up and I'm going to share with you what it is and how to use it and I'm pretty sure you're going to like it so stick around. My name is Hedley Dorenzi, I'm a qualified life coach, I'm an author, and I'm super passionate about the amazing teachings of the law of assumption as originally taught by the great American mystic Neville Goddard. It is the stories that we tell that create our life. So if you wanna change any part of your life, it's a good idea to know how to change the story first. And if you'd like to create the most amazing life, it really helps to know how to tell the most amazing stories. And that's where these teachings can really help. And that's why I am here. I want to help you to tell the most amazing stories that you can possibly imagine so that you can experience the most amazing reality. If you would like any support with this, I'm available for coaching. You'll find all of those details below. I also have a free 21 day set yourself up with the ultimate self-concept course, which is the ultimate story that you want to be telling. And I'm on Instagram. All of those details are below as well or at my website, youarethone.com.au. Okay, today we are talking about euphemations and what are those, you might ask? Well, I will explain in this video. Uh, it's a technique that I've been using in my own life, which has been really powerful. And that's why I wanted to share this video with you because I'm, you know, I work from personal experience. I adapt these law of assumption teachings to work for me. And that's what I want to help to do for you. This is all about adapting. This is all about using these teachings in a way that suits ourselves. There's no right or wrong. Like there's no rules with this. There are principles and there are concepts. Yes. And then it's how you adapt them to suit yourself. So a lot of you obviously know of affirmations, you're using affirmations and affirmations are super powerful. They are extremely powerful. There is nothing more powerful than the I am statement because the I am is the unconditioned awareness. And what we do with affirmations when we use I am statements is we essentially are conditioning the unconditioned. So the I am is just another name for God, meaning infinite consciousness or imagination. That's essentially what I am is. You are the infinite I amness at your core, meaning you are consciousness, you are imagination at your core, you're God. God is everything, it, com it encompasses everything. All the contrast, the light and the dark, the good and the bad, the hot and the cold, the kind and the cruel, everything all falls under the infinite I am. So when we use affirmations, we are conditioning the unconditioned with what it is that we want or don't want, depending on how you're using these affirmations. So if you're saying, I'm tired, you're essentially conditioning the infinite unconditioned awareness to be tired. If you say, I am poor, then you are conditioning the infinite unconditioned awareness to be poor, so to have the experience of poverty or to have the experience of tiredness. If you're using affirmations in the positive, so you're saying things like, I am beautiful, then you are conditioning the infinite unconditioned awareness to experience beauty. So affirmations are super, super powerful. Affirmations are first person and that's why they are the most powerful because you are the I am in your movie, you are the star of the movie, you are the unconditioned awareness or unconditioned consciousness of the I am, conditioned the I am according to what it is that you do with your thoughts, beliefs, and assumptions. And then that's what causes your reality. That's why you are the God and cause of your reality because you are conditioning the I am. What we do with euphemations is we're just shifting perspectives. That's all we're doing. Now the you perspective is second person. Say in writing, you have first person, which is I am. So you would be writing your story. Like a lot of memoirs are written in I am in first person. Then you have second person, which is the you. You are that is not as common in writing. And then you have third person, which is the she is, he is, they are. So with euphemations, we're just slipping into second person where we're kind of taking a step outside of ourselves, looking back and then speaking to ourselves as if we were being the loving God that we would want. So a euphemation is just taking an affirmation and shifting perspectives to the you. So when I'm doing my affirmations, I am loved, I am wanted, I am worthy. Then what I'll do is I'll slip into second person and I'll say, Headley, you are so loved. You are so worthy. You are wanted. You are enough. That's a big one, actually. I, I say that quite a lot to myself. I'll say, Headley, you are enough just as you are. So I will speak to myself in second person and it just really like kind of brings a new 
Um, it kind of just brings new life to my affirmations. Where this kind of came from was just, I don't know, I just was playing around with it. And uh, I find the euphemations really powerful because it's like I'm talking to myself like a loving influence. So I'm saying, if I'm feeling a little bit stressed about money, if I've got my old money stories coming up and I'm like, Hedley, you are so wealthy. You have enough. You know you have enough. You have plenty. You are plenty. You are beautiful. You are so wealthy. You are abundant. You are prosperous. You you are creating more and more amazing things for the world that the world wants. You are wanted. You know, I'll just go on and on and talk really lovely to myself. So the euphemation really makes the best friend out of yourself. And that is what we want to be doing, people. We want to be our own absolute best friends. Because if you're like me and you have had up until recent, up until finding these teachings, really, I was probably the one who was the most critical of myself. I was the hardest on myself. I was the cruelest to myself. You know, somebody could say an insult to me, but you know, it's not something that I hadn't said to myself before. So what euphemations do is they train you to really be your own best friend. They train you to love yourself and to speak to yourself really kindly. So taking your affirmations, the I am statements and turning them into second person you statements what I find myself doing is speaking to myself in a really loving, beautiful way. And that is creates this state of consciousness that feels really good. And that's what we want. We want to be creating a state where we feel really good and our thoughts are really on point and they're really high and they're really moving us towards what we want. So I also use my name in that statement because it just helps me um, direct the thought towards myself. So I will use my name in the statement. And so I suggest when you try it, try this out for yourself, as always, as with everything these, I'm talking about in these videos, as everything Neville teaches and Neville will say, test this out for yourself, give it a go, see how this works for you. And I will do another video on using all of the three perspectives, but just try using the second person uh, statements towards yourself. Learn to speak to yourself as the most loving, kind, generous person that is in your own life. Like speak to yourself as you would want everyone to speak to you. Like using your name, you are so beautiful. You are enough. You have enough. There's nothing to worry about. You have it all. You have it all right now. You are the most important person in your life. You are so amazing. You are so beautiful. Whatever it is that you want to put in there, like look at your affirmations and then and then use the you statements, put them into you statements, put your name in front of them because that just helps like direct your consciousness towards you. Give it a go, see what happens. And I have a feeling you're gonna like it because it feels great. And that's what this is, we want to be feeling good. Like who doesn't want to feel good? So I hope you enjoy that little technique, uh, euphemation. I have no idea if that's a word. It is now. We've just made it up. So go, go forth, play with it, and report back in the comments. I'd love to hear your experiences with it. Just, you know, you can be using it at any time, like as you're driving. I use it a lot when I'm driving. I'll just speak to myself a lot. I'm doing all sorts of wacky things when I'm on my own, like I'm talking to myself. I'm like, isn't it wonderful? Or have you forgotten? Or you are amazing, Hedley. Like it's really, this is what my life looks like on a day-to-day -day basis. So anyway, I hope you find that enjoyable. Uh, let me know in the comments below. And as always, please remember, you are the most amazing creator of your reality. You are are the superstar of your show. You are the producer, the writer, the director, and the actor in your movie. Whatever you assume to be true will be so. So assume the best for you and assume the best for everyone in your movie too, and you will have an amazing life. And this is my wish, my vision, and my prayer for you. Thank you for listening. Please like, share, and comment on this video. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would love to have you. And I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.